This is Strange Love After Hours. I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome, babies. Good evening and welcome to After Hours. I'm your host, Cami Chaos. As always, I'm joined by Dr. Normal. Hello. Before we get into the show, I just want to make special note of the brand new intro that just played with music yes. by John Nastos and Clay Guyberson. And uh, Christine Kistner worked very, very hard on that intro with Dr. Normal. So thank you all. I really appreciate it. It's all fancy pants, and now I'm going to make an ass of myself, so it's going to be great. Uh, this evening, we're joined by Brad Smith. And Peanut Gallery. Yeah. And Peanut Gallery. We'll get to the we'll Peanut to the Gallery peanut. in a yeah. moment. We'll even let you introduce yourself, Peanut Gallery. That's right. So, we just did the tech episode <clears throat> where we had colossal Mogulus fail. <laughs> we were ready to go on time for the first time. Swear to God. Ever. You guys were on time. We, we, we were. were so ready to go. You're a witness. We yes. were so ready to go that Dr. Normal was like, just wait, we can't really actually be on time. <laughs> just hold on a minute. That's the problem. You get all prepared and yeah. then at that point. And then Mogulus was like, oh, you wanted to do your show tonight? Yeah, curse of the tech, man. You can't do your show. And, and we have to say, Mogulus was actually very, very, has always been very solid for It's us. been very reliable for us. So, whatever It happened, was confusing you know. and upsetting. And there was talk of going back to Ustream. <laughs> yeah, and there crazy was, talk. There was talk of you know abandoning ship and there was talk of me never doing the show again ever and well, wait a minute. You're, <laughs> making this pastries. is your last show right yeah i'm gonna go uh, this cat and i we're starting a bakery pastries and pasties pastries and pasties that's right that's right she said i could only still do strange of life if i wore pasties on the show i'm not sure did she's you talking introduce about brad, the sparkly by the way? yeah i did yeah oh, okay she, she did she I covered did. her bases i right. really did I, I introduced brad and now i'm talking about pasties <laughs> and i couldn't figure out if she... <laughs> after i roll through web visions web visions event oh brad smith and there's pasties we just did the whole pasties web visions and... episode we're going to talk more about Is web there... visions because he's got stuff on the couch that oh, i need yeah. to know about well we'll talk a lot about i've got the 100 deutsch mark note here oh Oh. No. Oh, oh, looks like it at least. See, oh, I, bring wish in I, would, the I wish I would have known you were bringing that. I would have brought the <laughs> Einmark Deutschland Demokratische Republik. It's about this small from the original oh. German Democratic Republic of Deutschland, which was um, communist East Germany. Oh. Yeah, yeah. GDR, huh? Yeah, the GDR. Oh. Lots of fun. Yeah. All right, we've talked Those about, guys knew how to party, didn't they? Exactly. We've talked about something very serious, though, that happened not, not in Germany, but in Portland today. They really did, actually. Uh, no, no, happened. seriously. Something bad happened in Portland Is that today. drink music? Do I keep... Yeah. No, that's not drink music. It's monkey music. Dr. Normal, what happened? Oh. Did, is there monkey music? Oh! <laughs> we have two of the escaped monkeys right here. Bootsy and Posey. And they don't want to hurt anybody. They just wanted to come and watch Strange Love Live. Okay. The third escape. Well, there's five, I hear. The th One of the third monkeys is over at uh, Verso's house. Its name is Tiger Lily, and it's just as sweet as can be. Mm. It doesn't want to hurt anyone either. Verso, did you let it watch Strange Love Live tonight? Her? I shouldn't call it an it. Touch my monkey. <laughs> the, the monkey <laughs> might get upset. No, in all seriousness, monkeys escaped from, was it the OHSU? I'm assuming lab? it's the... It, they escaped the primate in Beaver research Beaverton. So, is this my cue for the? Should I just like pull me into the? How the, how long is, is it? Point. We how, do the cheesy. How long is it kosher to hold the? Oh monkeys? wait a minute! I gotta uh, hang on before I do this. I'm, I'm doing. Uh, oh, look. there you go. You done it. Are you breaking things? Oh yes. yeah, put the sunglasses on because it's you know noon. Okay. And eighty <laughs> hey, degrees. We're back. Oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> It's a nice look. I know. It, it's just, it's it's really cheesy, isn't it? Yes. We'll talk about your cable access days in New York <laughs> very soon. Um, yes, I, they were in Beaverton, so I'm assuming the, uh, um, I don't know, the Primate Research Center. At yeah, HSU. it was the Primate Research Facility, and they escaped. Know, kids. And they're running rampant, and they're trying to take over the world. Back to the show. And they have a new Statue of Liberty. No, before you switch cameras, why don't we introduce the peanut gallery? Okay. And turn on the microphone. I'm going to introduce the peanut gallery. Pan hey. right. Hi. <laughs> They're in the dark. So grab the microphone, Stephanie, and introduce uh -oh. yourself. Oh. Jesus. Hello. Too much. Hang on. Is it on? Oh no, it's on now. It's not. Is it on? Oh yeah. yay! Hello. Somebody made a gallery. reference. Leah Laporte made a reference last week to SCTV. 
Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. it really is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So who we got in the? <laughs> so we've got S. Wagner Design, Stephanie Wagner. Hello, um, Stephanie. I'm also helping Brad run at WV09, where we're interviewing some speakers and so forth for awesome. Web Visions. And I also have my husband. Andy. Hello, Andy. <laughs> is Hello. Andy on What's Twitter? What's his Twitter name? Yeah. Yes. That's uh, Andrew Wagner. On Twitter? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Ooh. Good, because that means we don't have to get you a Twitter account, because the last time we had someone in the room that didn't have a Twitter account, we had to get her one. And now back to me. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Does so he have to throw them back mind. to the monkeys? Yeah, I'm actually these monkeys can fly, Doctor Norman. <laughs> Flying monkeys. <laughs> Flying oh, sock before, monkeys. Wait a minute, before you do the next one, let's, let's just get the. Oh yeah, the flying sock monkey. <laughs> oh, can. oh, oh it hit the, the, the board. board. <laughs> that was not intended. And <laughs> no and monkeys were harmed in the making. Our, our <laughs> no monkeys were harmed oh God, in the making is, of this video. Our damn, sh- the whole damn strange little life. It's gone to the so animals. Cheesy. We're gonna fix that. All right. Okay. No, we're going to go back to seriousness. We're going to be serious now. Very, very serious. How did the monkeys get out? <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I, I, I just, don't know. I didn't read the thing. So I didn't read the thing either. This is just something. Maybe that, someone yeah. in the chat room can tell us how the monkeys got out. But I heard that a wife monkeys, used to work there. But talking about monkeys, how about that there. Web Visions? Uh, oh, no. <laughs> the monkey. <laughs> Are there going to be monkeys at Web Visions? <laughs> maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Come and find out. <laughs> <laughs> Will there be oh, robot God. monkeys at Web Visions? Oh, robot monkeys. <laughs> There's going to be robot monkeys at Web Visions. Everyone has to go and find out. <laughs> Cyborg oh, monkeys. And, and the first thing that came to my mind, so, as yours, Brad, was Planet of the Apes. Oh, yeah. Damn you! So you know, Brad, the, the chat room wanted to know if Wait, you're, you're actually, not on. You gotta, you gotta, okay, you're you gotta on. get eye contact or okay. something first. Yeah. Yes. There you go. So, Brad, uh, the chat room wanted to know Yo. if you're actually from Portland. Oh, good, good question. <clears throat> no, I'm not, actually. I'm from Corvallis, Oregon. Oh, yes. Originally. Yeah. But he is an Oregonian. From a farm. I am an right. Oregonian. Yeah. yeah. He, he read the same. I gave him my research. I know. Come I'm on. sorry. Yeah. Jeez. It's the creepy. <laughs> he, I had to tell him. I said, I hope it's not creepy, but I already know that. Because we had well, a I'm monkey creepy. farm. You know what's cool? A monkey farm in Corvallis. <laughs> a cyborg monkey farm? Cyborg monkey farm. <laughs> Way ahead well, you know, of your time. You know what's yes. cool is like this summer we'll like hire an intern. It'll just be like, it'll be like broadcast news. It'll be like, yes. and there you go. Um, it, now I'm the intern. It's not. Yeah. We'll, we'll work How can it. you be the host and the intern? You and the drink be. maker. You're the host. You know it's that's difficult. just so And the wrong. monkey wrangler. Is it drink? Drink time? Is that what oh. Means? Sure, it's drink time. Really? Oh, okay. Let me cue it up. <laughs> Don't offer if you're not prepared. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working I know. So I I'm the host and the monkey here. wrangler and the drink maker and apparently the intern because I do all the research. Yeah, I, I definitely think we need to get into drinks soon because, oh, God, with this. With the monkeys uh, and the mogulus. With the monkey. You know, maybe monkey monkeys are <gasps> in my mogulus. Maybe the monkeys were pulling oh. cables over at the mogulus. Where's mogulus located? Uh, not in the primate center, but, <laughs> but it sounds like a good uh, monkey you know, mogulus. Yes. It works. It's yeah, all good. That's a pretty hilarious idea. All those monkeys over there typing on typewriters, mm-hmm. and hooking cables up, and everything. Writing more in peace, going yes. with my mogulus. Yeah, speaking of monkeys, oh. I hear monkeys love this tune. <laughs> this is now the new drink music. Oh, it is the new drink music. That's I forgot. Right. We got we premiered it last week. We got week. new drink music. Yay. And this is uh, Oh Man, She's Really Got It by the Doc Normal John Braz thing. Okay, Dr. Wow, Normal, so why good. don't you tell us what you're drinking? Oh, yeah, okay. Um, let me hook myself up here. Oh, because you've got to switch your camera? I, I think there should be a guess as to what it is, but... I'm sorry, this is how we kill time, right? Just, if people could guess go, what, go with it. what you or I were drinking, it would be really how I, boring. How I feel about the stream right now, I'm just like... <laughs> in a couple minutes, I'm going to I'm gonna strip down to my underwear and do like a flea impression. So just, you Please know. don't do that. Well, you don't, your hair isn't bleached. I'm sorry, it won't work. Um, Doc Normal oh, is drinking... Oh, our camera. Oh. Cool. Doc Normal is trying to ruin the expensive equipment. Cool cocktail. Don't spill on the board, man. <laughs> yeah. Cool cocktail. Cava. Thank you very much. From, you know, Spain. Mm. Okay, Brad, what are you drinking? 
Actually, I didn't know this, but I, I brought the bottle of Pinot Evil. It has mm -hmm. three monkeys on it. It does. It does. I thought it was some sort of monkey conspiracy. Topical. There it goes. This is the monkey theme show. It's the see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil monkey and Pino scenario evil. with yeah. Pino. <laughs> <laughs> it's all very good. Um, the peanut gallery is also drinking Pinot Evil. Yeah. Yes. And I'm drinking, surprise, surprise, <laughs> surprise, a dirty dry gin martini so last a week you had rum <laughs> last week i had tiki drinks yeah, yeah that's right because yes, you were complaining you ran out of the rum <laughs> yes it was very sad we have more rum now yeah we do it's true we have more rum mm, that's right okay we can move along from the drink music now is that yours though we're not yeah that, that music is yours yeah very nice yeah we're I not like we're not gonna wait for the conga solo. <laughs> do you want no. the? No, do you need fine. to have the conga solo? Beat? No, Are we, you gonna we be can. Okay? We can fade it out. I think you're gonna survive. Oh, I think you're gonna talk up to it. Yeah, no, okay. Just, just, you, Here comes the conga solo now. You're really pushing it, babe. I, I am. You, you know what? I'm so stressed out of, about this. We have lots thing of episodes right in the future you, that we can have the conga solo on. Just fade well, we it down. We it, okay. Just, You're just so trying to push this, aren't you? <laughs> okay. We listened I to like the that, whole though. thing last week. Thank it you. was it's a good Thank piece. Thank you very much. Very nice. very nice, nice piece. Jessica Bartlett on the flute. Right. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Um, something else before we forget that we need to talk about is that calendar there. Brad, did we mention this show's oh. not about you? The, that's, oh, that's okay. I'm the tech happy edition to be was your, about you. Your, your, the tech your, edition was about you. That's right. Yeah. You're well, just we tried. An outlet no, for actually, us. the tech edition was about web vision. It's yeah. really not about you. Either. I have a whole page on him. I gave you yeah. a page on him. I, okay. Mm -hmm. but you, I, you want to talk about that? Yes. Really quick. I want to talk get about the, the Get Naked for a Cause charity calendar for 2010. There it is. Ooh. Right there. Get Naked. See the big naked <laughs> thing on there? No geeks were harmed in the making of this cat. Well, it's no. not true. But monkeys were. One of the photographers may have been harmed a few times. Yeah. But I will. I won't show you the rest of the months. But I will show you October. Although August always makes me smile, <laughs> as does September and July. But yeah, this is October. Oh, bring it up. You know, camera just a little bit. There we go. Oh, they can't see it. Okay. That's well. Sad. You have to buy one. They're fifteen dollars. It goes to a really really good cause. It goes to. It goes to three different recipients, uh, Free Geek, the PCC Multimedia Club, and P-E-A-R, Pair, I'm guessing and is pair, how you say pair, it, right. but yeah. So Free Geek, Multimedia Club, Pair. Mm -hmm. It's great. Yeah. So a lot of uh, people who are naked. In yes. That, or not really naked. Well, they're, they're it's implied nudity. Implied nudity. <laughs> yeah. And we did a signing last on Sunday. Sunday, and it was a lot of fun. So, and I'm looking at a bunch of people that I know, and they're naked. And I have to say, I'm very proud that two of the months were shot right here okay. in this studio. Do you want to show us another month? Oh. Which month should I show you? Just show us a random month. Just open it to a random. If I open it to this random page, I get to show you the one I want. It okay. was not shot in our basement, but okay. oh, look at my friend. That's media chick with pie. That's right. Pie media chick. Yes. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Enough of that. We wanted to promote that because. No, but seriously, if you want a, a copy of this calendar, it's fifteen dollars, and I'm looking for I'm the website on Twitter, right now. You, can... uh, you know, I'm looking for the. They, they should have the we'll, website, we'll or I should that know in the, the website. Show notes. Yeah, in the show notes, I'll have the oh, the website for the calendar. We don't have show notes. Okay. You, you know, this is just another shameless promotion, but they will be at Web Vision selling calendars. Will they? Seriously? Yes, they will. That's Whoa. fantastic. Yes. We're happy to promote them. That makes That's me awesome. really happy. That's yes. awesome. That makes me really happy. Yeah. It's a. Okay. It's actually a great calendar. I was like, yeah. wow. I was blown away. So. I Very was actually nice. really pleasantly surprised when I saw the calendar. No, excellent. They did a fantastic job. And free geek. Whoa. And I know at least one of the people in this calendar is speaking at Web Visions. Amber oh, Case. Amber, Amber, she's in there. Oh, so January. You, you can probably track her down at Web Visions and get her to sign the calendar. <laughs> you can stalk her at Web Visions after you look at the calendar. No, she's one of the only two people you, in the calendar who have not signed my calendar. Amber, Amber. Rom, I'm looking at you. My calendar has not been signed. I'll strell you my ass. <laughs> All right. Yes. <yeah>, so, <laughs> excuse me. Mogulus no, made me cranky, and the monkeys made me insane. She's actually going to Australia. Yes, she is. She's leaving for Australia we, very we soon. We get one. She'll oh. be back for web visions. That's good. Yes. That's comforting. Yeah. <laughs> That's very comforting. We, we get one. We 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 send one. 
What? Irk, Mr. Irkpod of the Irkpod podcast. Oh, that's podcast right. We have received an Australian. Landed oh, really? In yes. In L.A. Yes. And so now we, we have to send Amber, one of ours away. A cyborg anth- anthropologist. Yeah. So. Well, he's yeah, he's not a cyborg anthropologist, but yeah, we have our podcasting mm-hmm. friend from Australia who will be on our show but in a few gonna weeks. He's going to be a madman. Literally he's touring, traveling the entire, the entire country, entire wow. country, in a and car. Canada. Isn't he going? Up oh to yeah, Canada? a little. Yeah. Or as they say, Canadia. Yeah, I, I thought he was joking, <laughs> but isn't that what Brilliant. they actually call yeah. it? I, what? No. No, I keep hearing it. But he, like it gets repeated, and I'm naive, and I didn't realize that gullible wasn't in the dictionary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Let's get on to some other topics. That's here. right. Real content. Yeah, real Do we have any? We can talk. Is, is there anything I'm else? I'm just amazed that we're streaming. I'm just like, oh my god. Okay. I have. I yeah, have well, like papers well. full. I could read the list of uh, speakers Brad, if, if no, necessary. No. Brad, what's your favorite <laughs> cheesy speak. '70s movie? Well, I was going to ask him about no, no, Hot no, Pepper no, Studios, no, no. actually. But yeah, we'll, we'll get that. Cheesy. We'll get it's a, Five Easy Pieces is one of my oh, favorites. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a classic. Jack Nicholson takes place right here in the Northwest. It's part of it. So. When was it filmed? Uh, 72, 71. Where, where was it? Where? Oh, it was uh, L.A., I think, and then it, they came up through, uh, they they take a road trip. And that's uh-huh. the famous scene where Jack Nicholson says, I want toast. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I love In that. the diner. Yeah, and that was filmed diner. in Oregon? Uh, I think parts of Oregon, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. So. So anything just like guilty pleasures? <laughs> like from the 70s. Oh, there's so, oh, there's so about, many good we films We were talking there. about I mean, Come on. Uh, yeah, Planet right. of the Apes with the whole Planet of the Apes and the monkeys. I can't be involved in any 70s talk. So, I don't remember the 70s. No, no, no. no. no, no. Well, look, the, look, the three best movies from the 70s, in my opinion. Three best? Star Wars? Oh, come on. Planet of the Apes. Star Wars. Early 70s. Star Planet, Wars. No, Planet, Star Wars. Stop. Star Wars. Star Wars. Stop. Planet of the Apes. <laughs> First it will Omega, hurt me if I don't Omega say Man. it. Omega Man. Oh. And, yeah. and, and Soylent Green. I'm sorry, all Russo. Charleston I said Hester. Hester. Oh, come Hester. on. I mean, I mean, those are over the top. He is over the top. I, I, I think we're talking about that whole spaceship scene where he's like smoking a yeah, cigar, exactly. laughing maniacally in a spaceship. It's exactly. like, okay. <laughs> Anytime someone laughs maniacally, it's a good thing. Yeah. Well, uh, for me, the best one was Planet of the Apes. Was it six or whatever? Where they kept <laughs> reusing the same vehicles and everything, where the budget was like cut to 10 grand or something. It's like, yeah, we, we were under. No, contract. that was two. Right, oh. that was the second one. Really? Right, it was the the second one where they recut. They have like like maybe uh, like five minutes with Heston in it, and the rest <laughs> of it is all that that this this actor. They're like, like all we can afford to pay for yeah, is five they, minutes. Yeah, they they had the girl in it for a little bit, and yeah. it was like all recut from like the the footage that they had. And they like have like you know these people walking across, and all of a sudden it's like this jump cut to like you know. I think we could do that here. The the kind of like. What do they call it? They used to do that in Star Trek with the pretty women, the 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 um, Vaseline over the screen. Oh, remember, <laughs> yeah, right. remember Charles Niston? Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's the. Uh, oh, they do it on the Daily Show too. They, I oh, remember, Lord. or no, on Stephen Colbert. They did it on Stephen Colbert, yeah. where he does his chin posing thing, and then he thinks back to a memory. Chin posing is underrated. I think I think it's going to be 2009 is the summer of chin posing. Chim- Seriously, chimp posing. Chimp posing. Yeah. I thought that I think you kind of brought the chimps back into that. Era. I think you said chimp posing. <laughs> it's all about the chimp monkeys, posing. man. It's yes. all about the monkeys. <laughs> no, oh! <laughs> monkey attack! Oh, no! oh <laughs> I love it. <laughs> It's great that Web Visions uh, will be the last one in 2009. Oh. You know, it'll it's be great nice. that there's yeah. going to be monkeys like at Web Visions. Cyborg monkeys, yeah. Cyborg <laughs> monkeys selling calendars. Selling calendars. Yeah. Naked cyborg <laughs> monkeys selling calendars. More people will come if you <laughs> have punch, punch and pie. pie. <laughs> oh, Lord. And monkeys. Oh, gee. No, I'm really like, how did the monkeys get out? Did anyone say? I don't know. What You know what? This isn't a news program. This I'm, isn't Jim Lehrer here. Well. I'm, we no, but we wondered about that, weren't we? I mean, it was like, are they clever Steph, monkeys? Stephanie, I mean, were they really smart, or was yeah. someone of research? Were the monkeys smart, I mean, or was, was someone Project, else really Project stupid? Project X, right? Right. That what, was a great with Matthew was Broderick. Thank you, Matthew. Oh, Broderick. that's yeah. And that the monkeys. The yeah. And was Sarah Jessica Parker in it, or oh, am I crazy? She was in everything back then. Oh. I remember yeah. I watched that on TV not too or Demi Moore before Mrs. we got Butcher. you know Demi what Moore. no <laughs> be- before we got rid of cable I watched the Project X again. 
It's a good thing did we you, got rid of did people. You cry? Did you cry? <laughs> I cry over everything. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not when I'm around other people, though. I don't cry in front of you guys, right? No. <laughs> no, I don't know. No. I, I'm ready to go out and get the Plan of the Apes box set at this point. I'm just like, damn you! <laughs> Can I ask you a personal question? What? Don't you think you have enough movies yeah, that you haven't watched that's, yet? That's the shit I really want to watch. <laughs> <laughs> it's the stuff. I mean. I mean you know, screw all this other crap that we When's have. When's the it's last like... time you watched your UFO box set? Well, it's pretty soon. You, you know UFO? Uh, no. English series by Jerry Anderson from like 1969. You know the guy that did the puppets? 1970. Thunderbirds? Now, Thunderbirds. Thunderbirds, I was yeah. going to say, that yeah. is a freaky cool Same show. Guy. We have the Thunderbirds box sets, oh. too. It was his well, first live action. You guys. You, they're, yeah. No, that. they're ours. We love them. <laughs> I Ima actually watched them. Imagine the Thunderbirds <laughs> with live action people. And with and all that English really, really mod short sexy. Uh, silver oh. lame oh, skirts. Yeah. Yes. Love. And purple bob haircuts. And on the moon. Oh, really? On the moon. Yeah. That's on the moon. Oh, yeah. And in submarines. And Nehru jackets. Always the Nehru jackets. And right? the guy with yeah. the creepy white blonde hair. Yeah. They always cool. have one of those guys. Yeah. And he's either really evil or really good. No, I he's think really he was good. really good. He's always really good. He was he's so American. good that I was like constantly waiting for him to be evil. <laughs> and Mike's like, no, he's not evil, honey. And I'm like, I think he is. Yeah. And then like his kid died were or something. Were you or... a Prisoner fan? I love The Prisoner. Yeah. The Prisoner was very, very, very instrumental in my, you know, in my It youth. messed you up. What about though? The Avengers? Oh. Yeah. Emma, who could not like Emma Peel? I mean, Thank come you. on, exactly. leather. Jeez. That's my one goal in life is to be more like Emma Peel. <laughs> I have no other goals. Do you have the leather like be you a know, good jumpsuit? mother? No. Yeah. I do not have the jumpsuit, but I do have the top and the bottom and the boots. Yeah, yeah you have a, and, a stalker on you. And Morgan oh. said she could make the me. Susie. <laughs> yeah. a Hello, Susie. Jumpsuit. Hey, Morgan, work on my leather jumpsuit. We need to talk. Yeah, we'll we'll get that done. It'll make me be, you know. Evil and like Emma Peel. Yeah, we're thinking about. Hmm. I mean, just I, I actually talked to Hockley about this. We want to do a Strange Love Live promo mm -hmm. and just totally do the Avengers thing you're, in front of the old car. And you're, all telling, the you're telling all the secrets. I know, but it's what? cute. Zip it. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a problem. Lethal and sexy. That's where it's at yeah. with a woman. Can I, I have mean, a knife? It's a pirate thing. I know. <laughs> actually, she had a rose. I yes. Think, yeah. In but the intro, I like and a gun. Yeah, and the karate. And yeah. Oh, come on, the karate. That's like, yeah. <laughs> she was like the English Laura Petrie with guns. Right, dangerous. Yeah. Which is weird because usually not a lot of guns in the English. Someone tweet that. Retweet now. <laughs> no, that would be English an overheard. Laura Petri. That would Laura overheard, Petri. not a retweet. Honey. Whatever. Get your Twitter terminology. Yeah, jeez, right. give the program. Come Damn on. it. Next thing the you're going to be saying that hashtags have a question mark. <laughs> <laughs> they do, don't they? Yeah. Okay, no. Let's talk about <laughs> something. <laughs> go. No, go. I'm I'm just I'm I'm it's Friday night. Oh, yes it is. Lord. I thought we could talk about hot pepper design. Yes. That's probably mm -hmm. oh, yeah. hotpepper.com. Yes. Yeah. Well you know that that uh we uh, people ask us how we got our name for our company and it was actually picked from a VHS cover. For a Les Blank film. Ooh, now, do you, do you know Les no, Blank? Do you know Les oh, Blank? Okay. Documentary filmmaker. Uh, garlic yes. is as good as Five yes. uh, Ten Mothers or Five Mothers or something like that. I can't anyway. Mm -hmm. He did one on uh, Hot Pepper, which is uh, on Zydeco Music. And my wife was just down in uh, New Orleans mm -hmm. listening, going to the same clubs we went to when we were there. But uh, we're, we're big fans of Zydeco and and uh, and documentary filmmakers and everything. So we saw that, and she came up with the name Hot Pepper. And I thought, yeah. You know, it's different, so. And I was just impressed that you actually had hotpepper.com. I was like, yeah. awesome. how did you get that? Hotpepper.com, oh my God. <laughs> and how long have you been doing that, the hot pepper? Well, we started, we started out in New York. We were doing, actually, film work back in the early 90s, late mm -hmm. 80s. And uh, we, um, the, the unions went on strike, and, and all of a sudden, all the work kind of dried up. And so... We were like, you know, it's not such a good time to be filmmakers in New York, and so, um, and so we ended up starting to do work, doing some print work, and then doing some early interactive work, and we were actually doing like uh, these BBS. I was working with this company. We we're doing these bulletin board serial pieces. They were kind of like comics, you know, web comics in a way, and they were and so they were like graphics, like GIFs. They actually they were all vector based. 
Okay. So yeah. um, I actually wanted to talk about that. <laughs> So it, in the notes too. And, and this was really <laughs> kind of cool stuff and we we got to do some really fun very bizarre stuff but you know then the web came along and right. then and mosaic and and uh the guy i was working for was kind of uh evil genius and he said you did know, he have a maniacal laugh he did actually okay. he had Good a very maniacal know. laugh that's, that's very telling isn't it you know yeah you've got to have the maniacal laugh you know and you just know you're going to go somewhere yeah exactly i wish i had a proper one yeah this was a vector graphic. So, Sorry, I mean, th th this is, no, this is the geeky part because I remember <laughs> this whole time period. Um, uh, did, did you ever hear of, uh, it was called a uh, BBS system called Excalibur. It sounds familiar. Yeah. It sounds familiar. What year was it? Do you know? Way back, uh, 1992, I think. 92, uh, see, it's, it's, you can 91, go way, way back. 91, <laughs> it sounds to me like there was, um, that was the point where BBSs were trying to get graphical. Yes, yes. And um, they're... Is graphical they're, a word? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I don't know. I've I said it. Graphical? Some scenes may graphic? contain graphical Were they content. trying to get graphic? Well, graph... <laughs> no, graphic means like... <clears throat> BBS was we're trying to get like no, pornographic. No, it doesn't mean that. Graphic has many meanings. Contains graphic... Language and violence. I don't know. Can someone on the internet, please? I don't have a computer. I'm yeah, not allowed to use. I want to know if graphical is a word or not. I'm just curious. <laughs> I don't care. Whatever. <laughs> I care. I'm right, murder of the English language daily. You are a murderer um, of the English language. Yes. But they were doing something Minitel based, if I remember, which was something from France, which is vector graphics. This was before the web, mm -hmm. as you said, before Mosaic. Yeah. And um, and then Prodigy came along. Mm -hmm. If you remember IBM oh, Prodigy. Yeah. And uh, they actually employed that. And that was the big thing with Prodigy is they had, mm -hmm. like, these vector graphics. Well, the graphics were pretty cool because, you know, unlike you know, when the first <clears throat> first web graphics came out and they were, like, GIFs and I don't think, did they even support JPEGs for, yeah, they support JPEGs, I think. Anyway, um, you know. For a while, but it was mostly GIF. Actually, GIFs came from CompuServe because mm, it was the yes. CompuServe graphic format. So when BBSs applied graphics they were all gif yeah. based right yeah well this was all vector which was mm -hmm. pretty cool because you could you could blow the screen up and the red and and oh, yeah. and the yeah. resolution was still really great whether it was a big image or a small image um now was this the bbs system you yeah the bbs system wow so it was using all these vector files and it we used to draw everything drew on the screen kind mm -hmm. of in in layers almost and so it was kind of kind of fun to watch i remember having more. conversations at like a educational conference with people yeah. just about this and it was like you know this is going to come graphics <laughs> online yeah. you know and then kind of prodigy took over and got a lot of things and then things got more graphical with windows yeah. and aol and i don't, I don't want you to use that word anymore i don't graphical. think it's a word graphical. I, 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 I don't think it's a word graphic means uh never mind all right whatever please graphics i don't thank know. you graphics mm -hmm. is, they used is, more graphics is decorate is decoratable Just, a word yeah decoratable decoratable more it's more of a word than graphical is well i, I actually yeah, wrote, I get wrote that out this week yeah. and, and and the little red squiggly lines came underneath of it in in microsoft word not that they like they're not all knowing uh, right yeah hmm. but decoratable I, decoratable I don't know. well i you get a, i get all my language from the jesse jackson uh, dictionary so <laughs> yeah let's be fair there are times that dr normal will scream cammy will you please come english this tweet for me <laughs> So he's not really the most reliable English. source. Of... We get our vocab from Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Stephanie, Stephanie says we get our vocab from Snoop Dogg. <laughs> so did you uh, run BBSs back then or anything? Well, I, you know, it was one of those wacky things. I, actually, I was not a tech person at all, okay. and and I, I had, you know, I you're more a graphical this... person. I was a filmmaker. <laughs> I was a filmmaker, and I, I, you know, I was like working and doing some some graphics. I had a, you know, a, a little tiny Mac, and that was like it cost like two thousand dollars or something like that. What was the, what platform was that? Two <clears throat> C or colors it was it? it wasn't even color it was uh you know oh, it was wow. a, you know it, i could hook it up and see or something like yeah that. Wow. and um it was really awful to to work on but it was a hey. lot better than than the other options which are working hey, on here's a know. tip if i went back in time check yeah. out that amiga yeah. amiga 
Oh man, I, <laughs> I, I, got, I, got, I got a long story about that, but uh, I, I got one. You got one in the other room. Yeah, yeah. The well, original. We have, 1, we have you, sitting right in the floor. You can tell. Room. Yeah. You can tell someone's age and geekiness if <laughs> yeah. they walk past the Amiga hey, and they're like, like, "Oh my god, is that dude. an Amiga?" Oh my god! And they ask me, and I'm like, um, right. "That's Doctor Normal." So I'm sorry. Let me get him for you. I don't you. know what this is. I thought that was a large paperweight. I'm sorry. Yeah. We're doing T-shirts this year. Of <laughs> and you have you have some. Oh, graphics. we have some graphics. Oh, those yeah. are so cute. Now Perfect. this we, and this is. What do we? Oh want yeah, this is, yeah, this you is got my, some in the buttons. Yeah, I brought even some buttons for you guys for gifts. Yeah. Here's the uh, the word processor. I think the new and improved. What is that? Which one are you looking at? I'm looking at the. Um, looks like an IBM. Oh, so now you'll turn the screen so we can see. Oh, it. oh. Now this is this is different. This is from years past, but I've always have been fascinated with old technology, and I just love these. They have these archives of old, you know, computers and s mm -hmm. mobile phones. Mm -hmm. um, there's a great shot of this of the chairman. I think of the point of uh, the time uh, Motorola. With this Motorola cellular phone that looks right like here. a brick, you know, the with guys, the big huge yeah. antenna. Yeah, it's like, hello, I just pulled this out of my pocket yeah. to talk to you. Yeah, uh, it's very mobile. It's <laughs> incredibly mobile. Look, I had one. Hello. That's what I said. Hold it, hold it. <laughs> Losing bars. <laughs> I had one of those. Actually, yeah, that was actually, my first mobile really. Phone. When was when I one, met him, one of those yeah. bricks. He still had a phone that was really? like this big with an antenna bigger yeah. than my thumb, and yeah. I was like, "When are you going to replace that?" <laughs> that Svelte phone is so <laughs> nice, Doctor. <Noel. laughs> it was a very appealing <laughs> aspect. You had a nice nice pick from the IBM. Uh, is that the three sixty? Yeah. Oh, the 360, circa I think 64. it was sixty three, sixty four. Yeah. yeah, that was the most colorful, beautiful. Yeah. Uh, computer i think of its time they actually kind of like red and decorated it blue yeah. red and blue tape reels yeah and it's those awesome. tape reels are really cool. I mean, actually, I, I don't, I don't know what they did. But anyway, I, I, I'm fascinated by this old technology. You know, the, the you know, I that, like your iPhone technology. probably has more power than that whole room of you know mm -hmm. those yeah. mainframes. You know, um, which the the, the military is probably still using in Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> I remember my dad um, when there was the big earthquake down San Francisco during the World Series. My dad was working for the railroad, and we were actually in Colorado. He was on a business trip, and we'd flown out to meet him. Hmm. And when the earthquake happened, they still had those huge computers that were, like, the size of a room. So you'd have the entire computer lining up against one wall. And during the earthquake, oh, they God. called him. They freaked out because the computers yeah. went from one side of the room to the other side of the room. And they had no wow. idea what to do. They were like, oh. What do we do with the computers? Push them back. <laughs> we're crying like, out. Oh. <laughs> exactly. He said, well, I put them back and see if they work. I don't know what to tell you. It's kind of unprecedented oh at this point. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. Yeah, so, I, it's amazing. The, 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 we could just take for granted, you know, these little devices that, that change our lives, like absolutely. iPhones or whatever. And mm -hmm. and the the fact that you're using those for, as a controller for graphics. Mm -hmm. I mean, God, yeah. go, go it's figure. It's pretty fancy. Yeah, it's amazing. Well, the... the um, the first Genlock I ever worked with was that Amiga 1000 with a Genlock adapter. Right. And that was the big thing, right? Yeah. You could actually put and you could do graphics over video, over mm -hmm. videotape. Yeah. And you just in and out. And so, you know, essentially what we're doing here is we have an outboard mixer and then we just roll up the blue screen graphics and just dump them on. Just you know? mix and the videotape like, and everything else I, is I the same. I think it's not that the iPhone can do it with the video outs. It's just that the iPhone interface, the touch interface is so perfect for that. Yeah. Um, I saw these German guys with this software called Boinks on Leo Laporte the other yeah. day. And they were using that as, which is kind of like a TriCaster kind of switcher. Mm -hmm. And they were using it as a remote control. And it was fascinating. And Leo's like, are you, what do you got down there? You got an iPod Touch? What is that? And he's like, oh, yeah. We just <laughs> use that and we just dial in the graphics. Your see? German accent just like, is really awful. Yeah, have a Deutschmark. <laughs> uh, there we go. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> but, I mean, if you think about it, as far as an interface for things like that, you know, for the touch screen is perfect. Yeah. I mean, do you carry an iPhone? Um, I, I, I'm I'm really ashamed to say I haven't bought one yet. Uh -oh. And uh, my wife at home is like, get that damn iPhone, will you? I want Does a your wife phone. have an You're, iPhone? No, she doesn't. She You're just, one of she the two Portland people who doesn't. Well, our, our, our office is cursed with this. It's a black hole of no cell oh. reception. And everybody there that has an iPhone is like, uh, uh, hold on, hold on. Yeah. I'm going to the parking lot. You know, it's like, yeah, yeah, hold on. <laughs> I got a bar now. 
yeah. I think it's, you know, it's like Ghostbusters. It's probably like this, you know, <laughs> funnel of, you know. Slime, you know, yeah. cake. Yeah. Is that is that Crazy librarians. Is yeah. that pretty much like your your design firm? It's kind of like Ghostbusters. It's like you've got like the... It's very Who are you going to call? Yeah. Hot pepper. <laughs> <That's> a... <laughs> um, Dr. Vinkman. <laughs> da, 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 Bunch of crazy be awesome. geniuses da, 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 there, yeah. Da, 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 da. All right, that's I kind of dreamed of having a hearse one time, you know, driving around in exactly. a hearse. Yeah. I always wanted one, too, but I don't yeah. drive, so that's oh. <laughs> good for everybody. <laughs> but you have an iPhone, though. I do yeah. have an iPhone. It's true. Nice. I had my iPhone before Dr. Normal had his. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. His phone conveniently broke a couple months after I got my iPhone. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It broke. <laughs> exactly. Battery, battery is hot. What can yeah. I say? That is true. He called me from work one day, and he was like, on his actual work phone and i was very confused because i was like why would you call me from your desk my battery was burning me it, it was like those things it, it, the, where the phone's in the pocket and all of a yeah. sudden it starts getting hot and you pull it out and you put it on the desk and it gets totally hot and you're like oh my god this is my gonna explode going in my face <laughs> right i'm gonna be that one guy on the web who's like who has no face because his phone exploded guy dies because his phone exploded yeah. and then he came home with an iphone that evening oh whatever I felt really bad for him that his phone yeah. was so hot. It was sad. Yeah. So what else you, what else you looking forward to in the next? Oh, no, we weeks? were gonna look at the oh. cute little. Oh, oh, oh did, did you show you? Yeah. Cute. We didn't see him. Oh, we. You didn't. No, did you, you showed the, the technology. The one. Speaking of which, we this didn't is, do that either. This is Hang my on. locket. Oh, jeez. That's unrelated to the cute buttons. It looks like a button though. Do we? No. Do we want to sit? Because you actually got it. It's my locket. Where it, is it? I got, it got here on Saturday. <laughs> That's right. Are you showing Sorry, my locket? Sorry, yes, yes. Yeah, this is my locket, and it's it from. It came from Locket to you. Locket to you. Locket, locket number two, you on Twitter. Locket. And there's a direct link there to his Etsy shop. Okay, locket. Oh, Etsy. Locket yeah. two, the number two, you, and he makes he takes these old lockets, old brass lockets, and rehabs them with new it's artwork beautiful. on the front, and it's absolutely beautiful. And it's gorgeous. And I love it. Yes. Yes. And it's mine. <laughs> and you can't have it, but you can have your own. I almost forgot at lock it to, to you. you yeah okay yeah. well we, we just wanted to shout out thank you scott <laughs> thank you um but now i want to see the graphics that are for the little buttons i feel like there should be like a chevy upstairs or something <laughs> hey we got this <laughs> gm called and they brought over I this gotta say, if someone wants to send me a chevy by the way it's zero percent financing right now um actually that's not true i don't really need a car but if someone wants to send me something buy american else, okay gets 10 miles of the gallon but buy american that's right. can we see the graphics that are on the buttons and you said on the shirts now stephanie's yeah. wearing one that's oh, that's like last, a robot that's on it. Last that's last year's shirt, but we've got like a series this year of very cute kind of uh, characters. Discio. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll bring up Discio. Yeah. Oh yeah, and it, yeah, that's on the buttons. Um, but we've got Discio, uh, and uh, we've got Scuzzy, oh, which is like a snake-like kind of character, and nice. then we've got uh, uh, Pongu, which is actually a game controller. A and those are yeah. all interspersed on the website. Yes, they are. Yeah. yeah, we've got these cute little badges there. Pongu so. for Pong. Yeah. Mi How about you mix mixa. Mixa. Oh, yeah. That mixes tape? tape. Yeah. Mixa yeah, that's it's a new one. Cute. Mix is brand new. I saw it in the graphics package that yeah. Eli sent. Yes, Thank you, Eli. We're, 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 looking, we're looking at those. <laughs> I don't know Hard working camera. designer over there. Yeah. Ever since he got the extra camera, what, I never what, know oh, where Pong, I'm looking. Pongu's like an Atari? Pong. Yeah. For Pong. I thought you'd like that. You know, and get the t shirt. See, I have. Yeah. That I had an Atari. I remember as a kid sitting yeah. in Texas and playing the Atari yeah. and then having my dad and my Uncle Robert be like, no, it's our turn well, to play Atari. Yeah, oh. I like Scuzzy. Yeah. Because <laughs> so many memories. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> There's this place called Oregon Cable. I don't know if it's still around or not, but this one guy was hilarious. He looked like a, a David Lynch. These big glasses. <laughs> and he goes... It, yeah, it was like years ago. He goes, take a look at this cable. I'm like, what is it? He goes, Scuzzy 3. I'm like, oh, you that's guys love your nice. job, don't that, you? That's, that's pretty much <laughs> how nice we roll. You're excited. It's Scuzzy 3. Yeah, no, I actually, I lived that. <laughs> Dr. Normal was there. that guy, apparently. <laughs> you lost the glasses. It was not a great look back then. <laughs> well, it just was, you know. I, and I actually still have a tub of 
cables that we need you know, to get rid of. It's you know? obscene the number of along, cables that along we have with in this next house. to the Amiga One Thousand. Those there. cables are expensive too, man. You know, just know. you don't want to just throw them out. He but. rat packs or rat packs? No, he's pack rats. Pack rats. I'm, pack I'm rats. a lot better than most people. <laughs> yeah, I, the cables I do purge. and the, like the mouses that have the old plug-in that you could never use anymore. Oh yeah, the serial plugins. Yeah. Those guys. I mean, the really wide ones with the little knobs you had to turn. Yeah. Oh God, those. And he still has them in the drawer. I mean, let me let you in on a secret. Hey, you kids, secret. get off my lawn. It's after hours. I'm going to show everyone a secret that they don't know. Oh, look Back at this. Back here. Oh, no. no. <laughs> full oh. of cables. This drawer right here, entirely full of cables. Oh, look, and a picture. Look at that. Very special. A and a painting of me that one of my best friends did. This has that. now turned into cable access. You know, this is awesome. <laughs> There's so Dr. Much. Normal, I love the fact that you've actually like got these all like, <laughs> t you know, quick tied together. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that's what one of his secret cable stashes. <laughs> I think he thought I forgot about that one because it's behind the curtains, but I know. And they're... Fix the... <laughs> <laughs> Make me crazy. <laughs> Yeah, so an entire tub back there full of cables and then other various tubs full of other things as well. All in some way technology related. Oh, except this for the, is like a CTV. The painting it? of me that makes me look like Dame Edna. <laughs> yes. You just, cool. you just can't get rid of that stuff, though. I mean, it's, you pay good money for it. You know, it's like yeah. you've got this... I've got a buzz, uh, one of those buzz capture things. Uh, oh, yeah. I just can't stand it. Is just... this anything like men's tendency to cling to <laughs> underwear after they get holes in the Is anything like men's uh, products? <laughs> yeah. to... I'm just wondering. I can get rid of the underwear thing. The, the yeah. cables and the, this what equipment. What about the socks with the hole in the bottom? Oh. Well, that's kind of you know, no. necessary to have a, one pair of socks or two. Yeah, we need to get rid of the cables that are never going to be attached to anything because they don't even use the ports. My computer doesn't yeah. even have those ports on it. I'll tell okay. you what, you and I will Is go that to the right word? Free Ports? Geek, we'll just I, pack up a big load I, of stuff. You and I will go down there, have kind of, you know, a you salute know, that's an to the cable. Uh, a few years ago, I just brought this giant tub of stuff to my co worker yeah. who was going down to Free Geek. Everyone's, I said, Reed, just take this down to Free Geek, please. And he's like, oh, dude. And I'm like, no, no, no. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. <laughs> quickly, <for> quickly, <laughs> take it away. I'm just like, <laughs> take I'm it like, before I look <laughs> at it. You know, Everything. Hey, Reed, I know you listened to this like two weeks late or something, but come on over, hon. I've got tubs of cables But don't for take you. the Amiga 1000. No, don't <laughs> take the Amiga, but I've got tons of cables. If you could just take them away, I would be really grateful. I'll, yeah. even, I'll even blog on that one site you asked me to blog on if you just take Ugh. the cables away. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So... You want to talk about more I old technology? I wanted to technology? talk about Hot Pepper Design because okay. we still Go got we still got basically because um, his I'm assuming... wife came up with the name, mm -hmm. yeah, and it used to be uh, you know they were working on film, but then it yeah. wasn't working because so it was New York. Did you make some short films? Y yes, we did. We made some dance films, and we worked on you know I, I worked dance on a, films. and actually I worked in a film production company in Long Island City for a while. And um, when did you move there from rural Oregon? Uh, we rural. Were, um, oh, rural. Geez, the rural juror. <laughs> From graphical uh, Oregon. Yeah, graphical <laughs> Oregon. Got a lot of decoration. Monkey attack! <laughs> <laughs> well, we went, I moved there in 1984. 84? Yeah. Wow. Lived there for about 10, 11 years, and then we came back. So. And so you were living where? In, we were living in, in Manhattan on Lower East Side. Wow. And uh, it, it was, you know, now it's very romantically cleaned up. And, yeah. you know, people go down there and it's like where all the hip people hang. Then it was like, you know, there were like crack vials in the <laughs> yeah. uh, in the gutters. And, you know, there were gunfire fairly often, you know. Oh. Sorry, Mom. I'm, no, I didn't didn't say that. Uh, He's yeah, safe so it was, now. Yeah, I'm okay. But uh, it was fun. It was adventurous, and we'd go, you'd go through Tompkins Square Park, and there'd be like you know people shooting up and all that kind of stuff. And it was real, man. At the time, it was real. So well, for a filmmaker, yeah. that's just like yeah, yeah all right. Yeah. I'm in the Why shit not? now. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me of when I used to work at the coffee shop, and we used to have to take all the spoons, and people could only stir coffee with the fork because oh. people were taking the spoons in the bathroom. Yeah, and then shooting yeah. up. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Good times. Oh, that wasn't in times. New York. That was in Portland. And so did you, you, <laughs> did you do documentaries? Yeah, we shorts? did documentaries. did an educational film called The Reteam, Reduce, Reuse, Recycle, which well, got a little bit of uh, recognition out there. Yeah, it was. Reteam. Reduce, Reuse, Recycle. We had uh, the guy from Twin Peaks, the little the little Mike, 
the, the, oh my the you gosh. know the walking backwards and talking backwards you know yeah. kind of a thing yeah he yeah, was the, in the, there. the, the, the yeah. guy with the garbanzo beans was Gar- it wasn't garbanzo it beans. wasn't that it no what was the yeah Something crazy like yeah. that. Oh, you know, he said, yeah, he had all these kind of crazy comments. And it was all know, backwards. Like, yes, I hear that gum is coming back in style or, yeah. you know, things like yeah, that, yeah, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah. Twin Peaks. I don't know. <laughs> I love Twin Peaks. Garbanzo beans, I don't know. I thought that. No, <laughs> I thought that was something. <laughs> hot pepper. I don't know. <laughs> garbanzo beans. No, I think Dr. Normal does weird, like garbanzo beans like when they're made weird in, thing. <laughs> in the hummus. I, you know, I, I might be right on this. So just look at, I mean, it's David, with it. it's David Lynch. Yeah. You never know. Anything is possible. You never know. It's possible. But yeah, it, it, yeah, mm-hmm. he's like going to the center of Earth and yeah. the Northwest or whatever. So yeah. yeah, right on. So we had that guy, Michael wow. Anderson. What did he do? And he was uh, Reduce. He was Reduce. Go figure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> And then we and had did a, he talk backwards and He didn't, but he was he's a really entertaining guy. Was he, he actually doing Twin Peaks at the time? Um yes, he was. He was telling us about oh, uh, sweet. David Lynch took him to Khan and he yeah. held, held his hand the whole time and he was he was talking about doing this project called Ronnie Rocket back in the day where they were gonna yeah. actually have to do a lot of cosmetic surgery, you know, and alter his Ooh. head. Hmm. And he said, Well, if you pay me the right amount of money, I'll do that. Yeah. But uh, he's actually been in, in, you know, some commercials and some programs since then. And he was actually in David Lynch's uh, Mulholland Drive. Uh, mm. So, yeah. but, uh, yeah, I don't know. He's a great guy. Uh, little Mike, he did, there was a documentary on him. He had a disease when he was a kid where his right. bones would bro- break really yeah. easily. And so he, it's, it's you know, Ooh. stopped his growth. So The but, brittle bone. Yeah. Yeah. So, Ouch. courageous yeah. guy. But wow. anyway, we had him and this guy Tim Miller, who was uh, was his really tall uh, actor, and we had a woman Julie who was, uh, she, I think she was, uh, I don't know, uh, recycle. <laughs> yes, that's it. <laughs> anyway, it was, so the tall guy was reused. Uh, uh, yeah. And she was recycled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and. Uh, I was kind of, I, I mean, when I, I loved comic books when I was a kid, and uh, and so I kind of based it on these comic book characters, and there's a clubhouse and a garbage monster, mm. and uh, very nice, and uh, yeah, you know, and and um, it was really popular with the, you know, the five to seven year old set, maybe mm-hmm. even the four to seven. I had people that used to really get mad at me because their kid was watching it like five or six, you know, times a week, and yeah. Was it a series or was it just just a, a single, you yeah. know, single show? So we did that, and then we, um, and then we uh, got I got a job with this company um, that was called Visual Radio. Mm-hmm. Go and, and and again, that's like visual, a friend of mine said, "Visual Radio isn't that television?" <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah. So <laughs> I was like, hey, "Yeah, I guess so." <laughs> um, but they uh, they they got me involved in tech, which is. Basically, the, the the guy was kind of a, a nutty n- nutty guy who uh, just you know said he was suing he was working with this company that was suing Sprint at the time for overbilling, mm-hmm. and mm. so he was on he had me working with him on this and doing like uh, these he, he he bought a computer a gateway, and he said set this up you're going to do a bunch of graphic stuff on it and you know we're going to start doing mm-hmm. some design work and interactive stuff. I said okay and. I couldn't get it to start, you know, and uh, it wouldn't boot up. And the, he said, I want you having that thing up by next week. And it's like, I, I couldn't get it to work. I've, I've had a couple and girlfriends goes, who said that. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I'm but, sorry. <laughs> I can't take you anywhere. You can't take him anywhere. I'm sorry. It's you? after hours. Well, anyway, the guy made me take apart the computer and call up nice. the tech support. And it's like, go to the autoexec.bat. I'm yeah, like, yeah. The, the, the what did you want? Now? Yeah, the hunt out. Hey, it's like, hey yeah. it, anyway. it, gets, it gets crazy when you're oh. in the config.sys. Re- yeah, trust me. Rem out that line. Yep. Rem oh, yeah. it out. What, okay, you, rem maybe it, it was out. me. I mean, yeah. this sounds like something I would say on the yeah. phone. And it's like day. that kind of exasperated, oh, come on. Rem. Type rem space in front of the line. Yeah. Like, R-E-M. You know the band? Yeah. Come it's on. the point where they're about to tell you, okay, you see that? Take it out and bash yeah. yourself in the head with yeah. it. And, and then put it, yeah. And it turns out that it's <laughs> like a like bad motherboard, you. you know? Oh. Yeah. And it wasn't, yeah. Anyway, it worked. Yeah. And so we got going. And after that, it, you know, we started doing, we did a, a digital resume that mm-hmm. was called Digital Me. Me. No, anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay, that so. was that was a signal of him, okay. not at you. Okay. 
Yeah. <laughs> she does that. She's like, <laughs> what is that? No, 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 no. Yeah. yeah. All right. No, see, good. normally no one's paying enough attention. So, it's all good. All right. totally Fine. Good. Don't worry anyway, about we're, it. We're cruising. We got plenty, plenty of time. So no, um, actually, we don't have plenty of time, but no, nah, we're we're doing good. <laughs> it's almost midnight. Yeah. We've well, been, that's because we started. Oh, yeah. no! What, but really, half an seriously, hour late? we've been talking for almost a ma- with the monkeys, and the UFO, and Emma Peel. No, no, not at all. Really? Yeah. I'm looking at the time. I've got the counters in front of me. Oh, so you're fancy because you have technology. Yeah. The camera's like, damn it, that clock says midnight. <laughs> I, was I wanted to be, be in bed by midnight. Well, we were, we were, yeah, we were working toward that until. Moculus. Yeah, let's, let's not go there. Okay. <laughs> so then you came back Finish. from New York Sorry. to yeah. Portland. And we, 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 brought, we started the company back there. We came back here and we started doing uh, web work and interactive pieces. Mm-hmm. And then we got back into print again when the computers got faster and did start and nice. now we're doing a lot of film work and so it's oh, really it's all good yeah so what kind of film work are you doing right we now? just finished something for um loaves and fishes we're doing oh, we did a, awesome. a 10 minute or about a five minute film for them for uh that we do every year we do something for them oh, for yeah. their kind of help raise money for them nice and then we're working on a long-term project with uh, uh the confluence project people and it's a, a series of seven art installations along the Columbia River uh, by the uh, renowned artist and architect Maya Lin, who did the Vietnam Veterans Memorial mm-hmm. uh-huh. in Washington. Mm-hmm. And uh, hopefully that will finish sometime in the next year or so when all of the monuments are installed. Pub- installed. Yeah. So. Very nice. Yeah. And which, which piece, I mean, it, you and your wife? We used Do to work that. together. She works for a, for a nonprofit now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And Stephanie's like, ah. <laughs> so it's, it's She's you. my partner in crime at Web Visions. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> Susan's a blast. She's fun. She's a yeah. whirlwind. She was a hard worker. Yes. So it's, I see. So you, you pretty much just do the do the firm now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. But. And just, I mean, all the stuff you're seeing on the web, uh, you know, you've been around for a while doing film and yeah. print and web and everything. I mean, where do you see this all going? I mean, as far as, you know, doing what you do, what's what's the next thing? I mean, it's 2009. What, what do you have your I th- vision I think, I think mobile and web apps are just going to keep going crazy. And, I think you know, Raven Zachary and James Keller would agree with you too, uh, yeah. right? Yeah, I'm sure they would. <laughs> yeah, you're right on that, buddy. Exactly. I think they're staking their business That's on that right, right now. Yeah, I mean it makes sense because I think that I think that the big things that that a lot of companies are, are still having mm-hmm. a challenge with are, you know, ha- communication uh, mm-hmm. with uh, fellow, um, you know, uh, with customers and you know, mm-hmm. you know, fellow workers, and the and billing and you know, CRM you know, stuff exactly. You know, there's so much of that. That just is like at a very rudimentary stage, even even now. So mm-hmm. I think that uh, that uh, iPhones and you know phones like iPhone are really gonna revolutionize how we work and how we interact with people. No, iPhones and everything else, right? It's yeah. like well, iPhone is the entry and, and, you know. and the next thing that we're yeah. gonna be carrying around. Android. It's even more powerful, mm-hmm. Android or the next, you know computing device yeah i think you know i think with um i mean those those devices i don't know did you ever carry a palm pilot around i used to carry one yeah. around yeah but Actually, now it's like the graphics for the show on the palm pilot or the music was music. It the music yeah it was music on the palm tungsten wow. but um but you know i had the original green screen palm pilot and it was great for syncing and keeping it essentially hmm. Um, replaced your day book, right? Your, yeah. your your day planner. But I think the difference is now we have all this wireless and the web and everything. And mm-hmm. so with the iPhone, you've got this experience that you can get up there. So it's yeah. yeah. I think I think the interesting thing is that you know will it be quaint one day when we look back and see that people used to sit at a desk in front of a computer? I mm-hmm. think it will. I think it will be. Yeah, yeah. in cube farms and yeah. offices I agree with you. and yeah. Look, the the guys on the Starship Enterprise, Captain yeah. Kirk and those guys, they didn't sit in front of a computer yeah. and type and, you know. <laughs> yeah. But but uh, Jean-Luc Picard did from time to time. He had his office and he would sit yeah, at his desk. He kind of had a and... screen or something. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, I I agree with you. I think people will I, I think 
actually, I think people are starting to look at that now and saying, that's yeah. kind of quaint. I mean, well, you already you... have the people with the standing offices, the standing desks. Right. And you have laptops. wandering around, and... and you've got laptops and, and mm -hmm. mobile devices. I'm surprised devices. the whole touchpad computer hasn't really take, taken off yet. And it there will. might be a renaissance right. in that with the iPhone, is having a larger computer that's a laptop where you touch things. I think the problem is, is that when you have a larger thing like that, it, it becomes less wieldy. Like you've got the tables. They have the tables in some yeah. restaurants that have the no. I'm talking the about like that comes a laptop up. size. No, I, and that's what I'm saying. Is I, I think it becomes less manageable, and also you use something like that. The technology for something that size is more expensive, so it's more cost prohibitive, and it's fragile. So, and, you remember from a few several years back when you and I? Were I remember together. that. The that I got the first got tablet PCs mm -hmm. in yeah. a job that I was doing yeah. for actually testing cellular networks. And we got a bunch yeah. of those version one uh, touch PCs. And I thought that was just like the, the awesome thing. And they were the size yeah. of a laptop. But they were, you know, you touch. It and would you fold around. and Well, some of them did. Yeah. Some yeah. of them were just a, a pad, right? Like the Star Trek pad. Did you actually you like that, though? Um, it was clunky. Uh, yeah, it's kind of yeah, a lot to it carry was, around. And... Well, it was the size of a laptop, though. Yeah, I liked my dad's so... tough book, though, the one that you could throw. Well, Ooh. yeah, okay, that was cool. Yeah, I mean, I think I think <laughs> the difference is the form factor of the iPhone. Yeah, works in that space. Yeah, but I I think it'll get bigger. Yeah, I think there'll be more people who want to, or maybe I don't know you. You're the guest. Answer the question. Will the keyboard remain? Answer the question. No, I mean. Yeah. I think gestural computing, that's an interesting idea that's coming yeah. out, you know. Um, there's a lot. I, I think keyboards... By the way, I have to say, wrong! <laughs> yes. Next question! I'm sorry. <laughs> Next question, Eleanor Glyph. <laughs> Issue two. <laughs> Issue two. <laughs> gestural computing. <laughs> no, um, so, ge you know, explain that. Explain just... Well, uh... I, I I think it's it's getting away from the keyboard and actually using mm -hmm. and there's a there's a Dan Saffer from uh, I think he's, for, he's formerly Adaptive Path I don't know if he's still with Adaptive Path but he had did a session on it a couple of years ago and it just sounds like an interesting way to you know it, getting away from the keyboard getting away from being at a at a place you know to do you know your focused work mm -hmm. it kind of this idea of of working you know, um, at a physical location, I think, is going to be... I think the keyboards haven't gone yet, but a lot of people are no longer working at a physical... I mean, they're working, obviously, physically there, yeah. tangibly somewhere, but but mm. having the office working in the office uh, is becoming less frequent. I mean, it's still the norm, certainly, mm -hmm. but, you know, you have people working in cafes all over the place and co-working in mm -hmm. different spaces, and it's becoming a lot more normal, a lot more accepted. Yeah, I, and now I, we just need to get rid of the keyboard. Yeah, <laughs> well, you know, it's funny that one of the guys at the office, he uh, has an iPhone, and I don't know if, if you do this yet, but one time he was actually reaching over to touch his screen and move f a, yes. a folder, you yes. know, yes. try to drag something. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah, this has happened before, and yeah. my daughter does it too on my really on my Apple. She'll be and she'll be like <laughs> trying to touch a game. Actually, what can I, I actually <laughs> saw a PC at um, Costco recently by a leading PC vendor who mm. will remain nameless that was fully, I mean, it was the big screen like mm -hmm. the iMac with the yeah. keyboard and stuff, but it was fully touch screen. So it was like mm. a 19, 20-inch screen, but it was all touch screen. So you could actually move folders and touch things. Mm. And I wonder if we're going to see more of that. Well, the checkout at the grocery it's... store is touch screen. Yeah, well, touch screens have been so, touch screens have been around forever. So, yeah. do you use like a tablet or whatever? It, it... No, no, I, I, I don't I don't use it. But um, I, I'd kind of like the idea of not having to touch a, actually a screen even. You know, I mm -hmm. think that you're gonna have sensors that actually the as you're getting close oh, motion, to, yeah, right with a yeah. camera, yeah. Uh huh. So I, I kind of look forward to that because it's yeah. You know. I would miss the sensory. Oh, well, Johnny Mnemonic. Mnemonic. Oh, whatever. <laughs> okay. Do, this is when Cammy English is Dr. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. How do you say that? Mnemonic. Mnemonic. Like a oh, mnemonic device. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty cool, right? You yeah. Know, going in. I mean, 
I, but I you know what? It wasn't purely emotional. I mean, he had the gloves. Yeah. So there was still... And I don't think we'll need that, right? I don't think so. I think yeah. it'll be gesture. Just Yeah, gesture-based, you yeah. know, just moving things. It's, it's kind of like a, actually a minority report. Yeah. You know, mm. yeah. that kind of... I want how. I really do. I want to come home and go... Yeah. How? Hi, Dr. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. Didn't Hal go evil? Yeah, How are you doing? totally. Oh, I don't care. Did he have white hair though? No, I'll, I don't. I'll go. I'll go. Yeah, I'm trying to laugh. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'll, yes. I'll let him go evil if he's just like, "How was your day, Dr. Um, Dr. Normal? Normal?" There Dr. will be no <laughs> evil computers in my house. <laughs> the uh, oh, the Forbin. What the hell was that '70s movie? Oh, there's a great one. Uh, we'll have to. I'll have to look okay, that one up. How about Black Hole? Yeah, that's a classic. Yeah, black hole. We have that one. Maximilian yeah. Sch- Shell. Shell. Yeah, Schnell. Schnell. <laughs> Schnell. <laughs> I'm doing great tonight, aren't I? <laughs> Bring out the monkeys. <laughs> Those oh, poor Lord. monkeys. They've He's been so exploited graphical. by Twitter and Maximilian Stranger Maximilian Schnell. <laughs> well, last um, week was poor names. This week's monkeys. Exactly. Monkeys. So is there going to be like a Twitter light that comes out that you only get four characters or something like that? <laughs> oh, that... Uh, Max, Everything I Max say Headroom. would be a, Max an obscenity. That's a Max Headroom effect, yeah. right? I mean, you remember Max Headroom with yes. the, the, the the whole thing and the blip The guy in the, the box. And, and we're pretty much living Max Headroom right now. Ooh. You know? That was a bad show. It uh, was a very groundbreaking show, actually. And just because was, something's groundbreaking. Doesn't and make it good. 140 characters was definitely the yeah. max headroom. Please don't tell me yeah. Alf was brown ground <laughs> oh, brown grape. No ground breaking. <laughs> no, no. I've only had one glass of water. Well, he did eat Alf. cats. Yeah. I mean, that's on Hulu, I believe. No, you gotta write. You gotta shoot heroin to write Alf. But anyway, <laughs> um, bum bum That was nice, <laughs> honey. That was very nice. Let's. <laughs> you, you know let's the not, reference. Let's not say bad things about TV writers, shall we? It was a. Uh, Permanent, 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 permanent midnight was it? Ben Stiller. Ben maybe? Stiller, yeah. Yeah, right. uh, I don't know. I don't know. What are you I'm talking, talking out about? Of my ass. I think that's the sign that it's time to end the show. Okay. Oh, it's official. You got, you got anything? Uh, what are, what are you, well, what you could show some cute, cute graphics and cute I, music I, over I it. Did. You know. He showed the did cute you show? Graphics. I showed, oh, I didn't I showed the cute. Oh, okay. He just cute. didn't. He right. won't let us see the screen. Yeah. He's a screen. We're gonna work on that. We need a monitor out here. Yeah. Yeah, we do. You could put it behind your head. And then you could always feel like we're looking at you. <laughs> Stand on my <laughs> right leg and get a grass work, s- skirt and sweep the floor as I'm doing the show. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah, That's a great idea. Jeez. I-, I like that. Maybe All I'll right. get you a Roomba instead. That's well, right. You know, the, I'd like to uh, the com- to comment on how great, you know, this. I, I like the after hours portion of it. And I told you it reminds me of Tom Snyder's mm-hmm. Tomorrow Show. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. And if you get a chance, you can queue up, you know, uh, your show mm-hmm. and Tom Snyder on YouTube and just kind of watch them together. Side by That's side. awesome. Um, it's great. Tom was a king. Man. I might try that. He was that. awesome. I actually included that every week at the end of the post for the episode. I include a who's on next week. Oh. And I included the fact that you compared us to Tom Snyder tomorrow oh. show in in the thing. I was being very clever. Oh. Yeah, it was quite. Uh, no one reads those. Quite posts. a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> no one reads them at all. So. We'll just have adopt the chain smoking, and then we'll be there. Right? <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah, think we exactly. want me to go back to the chain smoking, right? That's not good. That's right. No. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank That's you so fun. much, Brad, for coming Thank on the show. Thank you, Thank you, Brad. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you guys for joining us, and we'll see you all next week. Yeah, thank you very much, and thanks for putting up for with the stream. Curse you, monkeys! <laughs> monkeys! <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everyone. Damn you!